Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Hearts of Iron 4 campaign as the German Empire. And in the last episode, it was a pretty big fail, I would say. I struggled to take on Sweden and nearly lost 24 divisions in doing so. Uh, yeah, so that was a bit of an embarrassment, but we did manage to capitulate them. I was going to go after Finland, but I've just noticed that they are actually in the common turn, so I'm not going to antagonize the Soviets. I'll just leave an army there to kind of block them off just in case, and we're going to go after Norway instead. So looking at my supply, it still is green, which is good. I was worried that maybe my units were suffering so badly just due to the fact that they were... Uh, it was a lack of supply, and I had too many here. But I'm going to kind of put this on the back burner for now, and I think I might actually uh, push down here, because it looks like we do have the superior uh, advantage. Um, this is the army down here, I believe, or is it this one? It's this one here. But as you can see, it says that we have an inferior, inferior enemy 70%. So I may have more luck pushing into France over this way, and if we do push into France, we should be able to... Uh, draw some of the French units over to the side because as you can see if we zoom out and just look at the normal view they have 57 divisions up here and then uh, United Kingdom has 25 divisions over here as well helping out which is a little bit frustrating and uh, I thought I thought there was some United States ones over here but some United States divisions yeah you can see they've got some US divisions here which is really annoying that they're helping helping out but let's go ahead and put this on to play and yeah we should have some readjustments because I did reshuffle my lines here but we're basically just going to go up against Norway so let's justify war goal conquer pretty much to conquer everything but we don't really need that really 25 days for that, and then we should just be able to take the entire region. So we'll get that justification going there. And let's see if we are going to be successful in pushing here. So let's activate this plan. It looks good almost everywhere but where the tanks are. But it looks like we are going to push through, which is good. Uh, if only Italy is going to help us push, that would be helpful. If I could get these guys to stop attacking. Okay, yep. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's going to work now. So we can uh, just stop that. Japan's declared war on the Philippines here. Alright, just relax. United States joined allies. Well, I think they were already helping the allies out anyways, so... Yeah, so the United States is coming in. That's probably going to be bad for us, and we... Yugoslavia, are they still alive? Yugoslavia isn't alive anymore, so I don't know where they're calling them in, but... Volunteer forces and transfer. So yeah, reorganized government of China is going to be giving us some units, which is good. And it's 41. So what can we get here? This is 36. Can go for some better subs, I think would be a good idea. I really want to invest in my navy, because I think that's the way to get rid of the United Kingdom, is having a good navy. Oh my goodness, stop. Uh, yeah, I'll sign non-aggression with them. Insufficient resources... Yeah, uh, all these people want non-aggression packs, which is fine. I will sign with them. But, oh, yes. Okay, let's pause here. So, we used to only have us four in the war, but 
looks like Japan and all of her allies have been drawn in as well. And look at our field and manpower. Almost 8 million men to 4 million. And that's because the Soviet Union is not in this war. And I think that was a really, really good call. Um, so, unfortunately, I did lose 640,000. It's a total embarrassment, I know. Uh, I lost 108,000 men to Sweden. Uh, meanwhile, they lost 195,000, but granted, it's Sweden. So, the Swedes really handing it to me there. I lost 156,000 against Poland and 127,000 against France. But if you look at the United Kingdom, they have lost quite a bit uh, to Italy. So, I'm impressed with how well they're doing. Um... United States, not too strong yet. They don't have too many divisions, but they will be. And wherever... Where's France? Here's France. 455,000 casualties. But they did change to limited conscription. So they do have some field and manpower now. But just look at... We just don't have much of a chance, really, to push through. It's kind of annoying to get across this bridge. I would like to push, but I just am not able to do so. Alright, so I could go for Operation Tannenbaum, which would allow me to go against Switzerland. So, I could do that. Let me just check to see if there's anything else. 2 times 50% research bonus for trade doctrines. Expanded dockyards might be good. Prove national spirit. London or Paris, so we can't do that. And I don't think I can do the alliance with the USSR because I have to be at peace. What does this do? Unlock some decisions. Can't do the west wall right now. So maybe for strategic or tactical, which one do I want? Battlefield support. Strategic or tactical, hmm. I can't befriend Turkey. Because I need to be at war with the USSR, which I don't want to do. So let's just go for Operation Tannenbaum. It will give us that war goal. And yeah, just struggling with the resources at the moment. I really want to get into France because France has a ton of steel that I could really uh, use or get a hold of. See, the United Kingdom has a bunch of divisions over here. Which is a little bit of an annoyance. We just can't really push in anywhere. Um, how long until this, this war goal is complete? Very soon. And then we should be able to take out uh, Norway pretty easily. I'm going to be focusing carefully on what I'm doing, though. It's going to give us some aluminum, some uh, chromium. But oh, they've got some tungsten up here and some steel, so that will be useful. But yeah, it looks like Norway, like, they don't have many divisions. 9 to 11, so that shouldn't be a problem. They've got barely any man manpower. However, I said that about Sweden, and I nearly just got annihilated by them, so... <laughs> um, Italy is not pushing yet. I will push when they push, but they're actually going in against Greece, which is probably pretty solid. Uh, they've got some decent decent uh, resources over here which is good but we've got the United Kingdom over here helping out the 819 Africa division how strong are they they don't have much manpower either I may actually reassign my mountain divisions over uh, to be fighting them that's going to be a bit of a trouble so that should be finished so let's declare war uh, don't need my allies. Norway, join the allies. Don't care. Alright, go boys. We should be able to just move right through. I'm going to have to watch this carefully, though, because... Really struggling before. What? How are they pushing through over here? Oh, I don't have enough... Uh... Get after him. 
And since we're not at war with Finland here, let's stop this and you guys get over here. And you can use the rail so that you'll be faster. There we go. We managed to stop them from pushing through. Norway is being pushed back over here. We've already actually isolated them, which is excellent. So just come right down the down the side here. Over here, they're putting up a little bit of a resistance, but not too bad. I thought I signed non-aggression pact with all these people. Zybe Sanmar. Oh. Yeah, go right after uh, Oslo if you can. And we'll give you guys also a front line. And just go when you get there. That should be off, yes. They're still moving to the front line, so let's get a few few more up here. Uh, this this unit is suffering attrition, which is good because they've lost their dock. Have they lost Oslo? They have. Excellent. So yeah, push them back. You kind of come down this way. Come take that dock. You go after them there. Okay, so that research is done. So we're getting some better subs. Can't move for that yet. Um, 1940, so we can get this invasion preparation time. That could be useful, so let's get that. Got some decent research slots now. Yeah, you guys are moving in for there. You guys there. Okay, that... That unit is encircled. Alright, so it looks like the invasion in Norway going much better than before. Which is good. You nine divisions come down here. Yeah, we don't need you. Come down over here. Excellent. So all these divisions are free, so now you guys come over here. Uh, let's have you go after that. Let's bring you guys down here, though. Because we've taken the dock. There we go. Nice. So let's have him get all of this stuff. One of you come up here to help out. And you're coming down this way, which is fine. Should capitulate very soon, I would imagine. There we go. Beautiful. Got some infantry equipment there as well. So that was really successful. Where are you? Oh, you're still trying to make the invasion of Sweden happen over here. I see. Got some United Kingdom units over here. Alright, so with this army... Let's slow this down. And I want you guys to... How do you garrison the area? Yeah, just like this... 
Perfect. That's what I want. Um, don't guard air bases, but naval areas, coastline, attempt to lower resistance, guard forts. So I think that should be good. And you can form your front line back up here, just in case. How's our resource? Oh, we've got another research slot here. 1941. We've got good mountaineering divisions, paratroopers. We haven't really gone for marines, but I don't really think that's necessary. It's not 1942 yet, so could go for a better engineer company. Better light tanks, 38 days. Like, are we going to be able to take Sweden here? Like, they've got one division, three ships. Are they going to make it? I'm not even sure. I'm hoping they will. Building some new ships here. We got some battleships being built. Having issues over here. So once these two are done, we'll go and lower the resistance over here. Because it looks like they're damaging some of my stuff. Yeah, it looks like Italy has plans to go after them, too. So, we're, this is my mountain division. So, I've got a lot of mountain divisions here. So, let's get rid of this front line. Let's make a front line around Switzerland. With an offensive line right at the back. And you can go there by rail. I just can't really afford to push anymore because I don't want to lose more of my manpower. And if Russia declares war on me, then it's pretty much game over at this point. They're still going after Greece. Let's see what the... Very low supplies over here, but we did actually manage to take it. Is it even going to work, though, is the thing. How did this guy become a field marshal? He can take on 72 men over here. Or he must have been promoted or something. Or maybe because he's defending territory or something. You guys seriously can't push across here, eh? Because of the seven French divisions that are there.
have a feeling Switzerland declaring war on Switzerland will have them go into the Allies and just cause some more trouble for me. I think I am the one who struggled the most with capitulating France. They just seem like some unstoppable power because everyone else is helping them. Like we've got uh, some United States tanks over here. And none of this is being produced because we don't have enough steel. Got a fleet out here. Just about to take Gotland, though. Probably no resources on here, though, of interest, but... Oh, well. Trying to get enough supplies for this Panzer Division here. Wow. 12 divisions just to this one area. 12 tank divisions over here. Yeah, if they declare war, it's game over for sure. Looks like we've got all of our... Troops in position. Large river crossing... Divisions still preparing. Some divisions not in position. Yeah, so we don't have to rush that. We can wait. But I'm just trying to find any opening to get into France is the main thing. See, because I'm crossing the river over here. What if we get rid of that? Is there anywhere where we're not crossing the river? Over here. So can we just make a front line here? Just right here and see if maybe we can get through. problem is, is that my... Let's put reinforcements as a high priority because these divisions here are like 44% strength. Maybe I should change the templates for these guys. Try to get a decent combat width. Oops, not medium tanks. Because we're only manufacturing light tanks right now. So see if that makes them a little bit better maybe. Or if they can... 18% fighting strength. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah, I think we're kind of just in a little bit of a stalemate right now. Let's get... Which army is down here? It is this army. Oh, nice. We took that out. Excellent. So, these two divisions now.
So have them come over to here. So we don't really need them there anymore. Prepared for 0 out of 14 days. They're still in convoy escort. And then we'll bring them over here to quell this rebellion. Hungary claims greater Hungary. S Soviet Union annexes Tanatuva. Oh, we can't invite Japan into the faction now. That kind of sucks. What faction are they in? The Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere. British Raj is in the Allies. A lot of these in the Allies over here, but... Sure. Who's justifying? I don't know who they're justifying against, but... Anyways, where's these divisions here? Six divisions. Um... Have them come around here. They're not really the best, but... Can give them a commander. Sixty thousand to seventy-six thousand. Looks like they're pushing... Who's pushing against who? I think France is pushing against the Italians there. Alright. There's not much else I can do here. Let's go for a tactical air effort. Available war goal against Switzerland. They're going to... They're guaranteeing Switzerland, so they're going to go in against the Allies for sure. Figured as much. Give them an offensive line as well. Looks like it's pretty green though, which is good. They only have about 20 divisions. Yeah, still low manpower. Insufficient resources. I uh, don't know where you're going, but just come over here. Still looking pretty good because of our mountain divisions, I think. Come on, let's go. I think Italy is helping us out as well. 
Yeah, it's not looking good over on this side, though. Yeah, we can't go in across that. Over on this side, we're looking pretty good, though. Except for one isolated incident here. Just waiting for all these the guys to get into position. Where are you two going? Oh, you're headed back. Oh, okay. So you're actually part of... of his. So let's just put them into there. Reassign them. See if we can push now. Push through with our armored divisions here. Yeah, now it's not looking good because France has all of their men in over here. Alright, just stop. Go ahead and stop there. Oh boy, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I just cannot push through these lines. There's not really much way at all. Close air support. Could get some fighters. Start working on that a little bit. 1941, though. Oh, yeah, we've, we've got a bunch of this stuff that we can research here. Outdated equipment. That'll save some of our resources there. Man, United States, you guys are so annoying. Can you just come over here for a minute and just quell this rebellion for me? Okay, low manpower, I know. Insufficient resources, I know. Missing equipment production. Up to 731,000 casualties. The United States has taken 6k. Almost a million for the United Kingdom, though. France is climbing up as well. You guys are not doing anything. So let's get you up to there. Because I'm seeing a lot of Soviet units over here, which is a problem. That should hopefully quell that rebellion. You're still struggling against Greece over here, eh? Because they've got French divisions over here, that's why. My manpower still going down. Let's 
just stop this for now. What is this? Are they coming in over here? Dang it, that is not good. Naval invasion, come on now. up and get in position. Stupid, stupid. Oh, crap. Alright, we don't need that many. Come back. Come back, you guys. Alright, well, they've established a beachhead over here, so that is a bit of a problem. Good, so they're all gone. So you guys come back. That was a nice failed invasion there. How many did that kill? Yeah, up to 1.5 million. Excellent. Or 1.05 million, I should say. But now that they pushed through here and taken back Amsterdam, but we still have the port on them. Can we push through over here? If I get more divisions over here. Come on, if we can just push right through here. It's 39%, so that's not going to happen. Come on, we have to push through here. There's no way they can hold back this many. Apparently they just did though. Like look how weak they are compared to us. Come on. If we can just get across here, we can win. That's not going to work. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous that they can do that.
zum Ausrücken. Achtung. I don't know where this one went that was supposed to be down here, but... Angetreten. Angetreten. Oh, okay, never mind. See if I can get some of my tanks through here to help out. We just need to break across this river. That's what we need to do. Okay, you come over here to see if we can help them out. Pretty even. Currently losing. Why though? Why? Six divisions holding off 14 divisions because of the stupid river. And now they've got a good hold on Amsterdam. Oh, this is paused. Whoops. to stop. I don't know. This just doesn't make any sense that they can hold out like this for so long. Makes no sense at all. Critical population plus 2%. That could be good. Fire brigades, all infantry, organization, tanks, organization. So we'll just go for extra recruitable population. Yeah, the Allies do have us in quite a bit of a stalemate. Are there any resources out here, I wonder? Got some rubber over here. Got some resources in South Africa. Who's this owned by? Oh, that's just... I wonder if I should send some divisions in over here to start taking some of the territory. Because I'm sure as heck not getting in over here. Could try and plan a an invasion of Britain. But they've got so many divisions, it's not even funny. 383,000 manpower for me, that is pretty low. But I do want to kind of... Start moving some territory, or start getting some territory, I should say. And I'm not going to get any up here, so. Which one is yours over here? How many divisions are on this? See, the problem is I'm not going to be able to get my fleet over there to Africa.
could justify war goal against Turkey. They're pretty strong, though. They've got a decent amount of divisions. Hmm. We're still bombing the Norwegian fleet. Oh, more research finished. Just gonna nuke them, I think, as soon as that becomes available. Okay. Well, I've got this army here that can't do anything. guys get rid of your front line. Put a front line here. Just extend that a little bit so we can hold out. Construction. We're still trying to fix a lot of stuff here, but I think we're just lacking the resources, really. Alright, do we have a dock here? See, the thing is, the Royal Navy is what's going to give us the main issue. Almost 200 vessels. Meanwhile, we do not have a strong Navy at all. We've got subs. Oops. Where did my Navy go? How do you cancel that order? There we go. Search and destroy just right here. Resistance to occupation over here now? Yeah, that's been put down. Okay, let's pause this here. I'm gonna end the video soon, guys. I can't believe that we still can't get through the... the allied lines here. Let's go for plans... Cannot have this and U-boat effort. Dang it. Okay, let's expand our dockyards then. And this entire army is going to start to plan a naval invasion. From here... To there. Ooh, 
We do not have superiority here. More oil, more rubber. What's the matter with these guys here? Get them back to f to port. Let's get these guys to that port as well. I did have some more navies, but they probably just got destroyed while I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks like we're not winning on any fronts, which really sucks. We're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. We cannot push through this Maginot line. Uh, even if I pushed on all fronts, there's just so many allies that are helping out over here that we just don't have the ability to move forwards. And I'm running low on manpower as well, which is a problem. And it looks like uh, Greece is actually pushing back with the help of the Americans. So I probably will actually send this army down here to help them out. and uh, send them on their way. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And if you have any tips on how to break the back of the allies, be sure to let me know in the comments section. I'll see you in the next one.